Community Hotline is made possible with generous support by the Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission. The Mount Hood Cable Regulatory Commission advocates on behalf of the public interest on communications policy issues at the local, state, and federal levels. Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm glad you stayed with us because now we're going from Elders in Action to the Gresham Senior Center, kind of staying in that same, uh, same little area there. We want to talk about seniors in our community and what is available to them. So tonight we're going to be talking with Joyce Wood, who is a program manager at Gresham Senior Center. Nice to have you back again. Hi, Monica. Hello. And Terry Ann Pullen, you are a new guest for me. You are the travel manager at the Gresham Senior Center. Welcome. Thank you, Monica. Yes, yeah, nice to have you here. So the Senior Center, right down the street from us here at Metro East, love that place. It's, you know, I've been, I've been there quite a few times for different things, but um, why don't you, Joyce, share a little bit about what the Senior Center is for and what, what, is, what kind of a resource it is to the community. Well, we're actually a private nonprofit in a county facility. Okay, so you're in the county building. We are, and um, we, we have partners in the building. Meals on Wheels is down the hall from right, us. Right. We're, um, we've been in the building since it opened, which was 2003, I believe. Okay. But Senior Center is actually 48 years old. Wow. Getting ready for that 50th anniversary. Before too long, it will be a senior. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get, uh, we get asked the question, well, what age is a senior? Who, right. uh, how old do you have to yeah. be to, to use our facilities? And you just have to be willing to say you're a senior. <laughs> so we, technically it's 50, Which I think is great. 50 plus, 50, 50 plus. 50 plus, sorry. okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, and, that's good. And that's Terry good. has been taking classes here for how long? Hand and foot cards uh, at the Senior Center yeah. for a long time. About three years. Three yeah. years. Hand and foot cards. Is that a card game? Yes. I've heard of that it's before. Can, like Canasta, someone Yeah, yeah that's me? what somebody's told me. But I don't me. know Canasta. But it's lots of fun. We yeah. need more people to come and join us on Thursday mornings. Okay, okay. They're dedicated. They spend all day. Really? Yes, <laughs> yes we started. So I love and... playing cards, so I, I, <laughs> I could I could handle that. So besides card game playing, um, what other kinds of things do you have available at the center? Well, the other card things we have are like pinochle and bridge. Pinochle. Pinochle uh, we player. have a very dedicated bridge group on Thursdays. We have a writers group. That's a wonderful, diverse group of folks that they. They don't really have an instructor exactly. They have someone who gives them a, a weekly prompt. Oh, and then really? they write from that and they share their materials. And oh, then fun. I also, I'll put different writings, poetry, and things that they submit to me in our newsletter, which newsletter. our seniors really seem to enjoy. Right, that's so, right. Yeah. Sorry, they have uh, their sewing kind of thing. Sewing quilting, and quilting. Sewing yeah. and quilting is very big, yes. Mm -hmm. And parties. Uh, Line dancing, Tai Chi are our biggest. Oh yeah, our biggest sellers for classes are Tai Chi. That's very popular, isn't it? Tai Chi classes. I've never done that. Have you? Have you tried uh, that? No, but I think it's about time. Yeah. Since <laughs> it's, well, they said they tell me it's all about balance, and I yeah. really think that's one of those things that as you get older, be that's becomes one thing. really yeah. essential. Yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. In oh. fact, <laughs> in fact, most of the instructors that's how they started in really? Tai Chi. Well, yeah, it for, seems like it. Wow. Yes, that, they had an incident in their life where they realized their health was going to be compromised if they didn't learn some well, of these yeah, techniques. Well, yeah, if you don't have any balance and you fall over and break something, then yeah, that kind of does mess up your life a little bit. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so one of the other things you have is a travel program, which has been rejuvenated, I understand, through the addition of, of Terry Ann to the, to the program. So tell me, um, what is it that you do for the Senior Center? Well, uh, at the Center, we try to provide uh, two uh, trips a month that are very affordable. <laughs> But we really depend on volunteer drivers, and they have to be oh, able to okay. drive a 14-passenger bus. So we're looking for volunteers. So if you like to drive, you have a good driving record, please come see us. We really would love to have you join in, and you know you'd get to go on the trips and see the sights with us and, so er, and what meet are some, some of the new trips? people. What have you done? Uh, well, or what do you have coming up? Well, tomorrow they're going to Pal. No, tomorrow they're going to. Philip Foster Farms, and uh, they uh, always go out for lunch, and they're going to go to the Carver Hangar for lunch after they've visited the oh, farm. Nice. 
And they're going up to Hood River in October, and mm. we do the Piddock Mansion in December for the decorations. So just any any yeah. day trips that yeah. seem tulip like farm, fun. and when the tulips mm, are out, nice. and we always seem to have a full bus. Okay. And so, but we do need volunteers for those buses. Okay. okay. And we also do longer trips. In December, we're doing Leavenworth. That's December ah. 6th through 8th. And then in Will the. Will that be for the, the tree lighting up there? The, yeah, is. the tree lighting, uh, and yeah. they're going to have a sleigh ride. Oh, yeah. So. That's, I have never been to Leavenworth, and yeah. I, I, I've had lots of friends who have been there. It's, it's just such a great place right. to be, especially during the holidays. I know you look at me with, yeah. incre with an incredulous <laughs> really? look. Never, right. never, never, never. Yeah. Uh, we had a few people go for the um, in August for the plays up there, and they said it was just really? wonderful. Oh. I've always had really good comments. Cool. So, um, and then next year, we have, we're already started to promote the American uh, music c cities. Uh, and they'll go to Louisiana, uh, oh, New boy. Orleans, and Memphis, and Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. So that's a seven-day trip. So oh, if no, anybody's interested in going on these longer trips or the shorter trips, give us a call at the center. We have a special number for the travel, and it is 503-988-9897. Or they could stop by the center Okay. And uh, Monday through Friday. Great. We're there from 830 to 3. Or if they call the main number, they get transferred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. sure, right. of course, for yeah. sure. That's great. That's that's fun. I mean, that's nice right. to have somebody do all the planning. Yeah, get you there. You know, well, Terry Ann is a travel agent, oh, long well, time. Yeah, long I, agent. yeah, I've been a travel agent for 32 years, and I right now. So I'm you know what you're doing. Is yeah. that what you're trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with Addie's You and I Travel. Oh yeah, yeah. I've used them before. Yeah, oh, a long yeah. time ago. Yeah, but I'm not sure how. So it's really been fun, and I enjoy helping people fulfill their dreams. Lovely. That's yeah. That's always a good thing, I yeah. think. So, uh, how how does a um, senior center get its funding? Ah, <laughs> it seems like we've uh, you've asked that question before. Uh, well, I'm, <laughs> I'm just curious. Well, let's you see know, what if we have a different answer this time. Yeah, you, you know, some some organizations that subsist on grants or they have government money. You on, know, we but, we do not. Yeah. We um, we depend on fundraisers, and our. Activities that we just a suggested donation, not even a required one uh, for our classes. That's how, that's and how donations you. from the public. Um, the county gives us uh, a discount uh, rate for the space that we use, oh, well, that's, that's and good. then we have shared spaces within the building right. too. And so um, we manage to get by, and you know, and you can always use more donations. Just, I'm sure we always can. Yes, we yes. Do you have any okay. fundraisers coming up soon? We do. Well, we have one that, uh, w well, this weekend that mm -hmm. that uh, is sold out, fashion show awesome. at Courtyard <laughs> Fountains. That's great. Um, showing fashions from Avenue and Dress Barn and Glass Butterfly. Who, local. This is yeah. the fourth year that um, Courtyard Fountains has hosted it for us. Nice. So nice. that's... That's it's great. very generous of them, yeah. and we love it. Those those community partnerships are invaluable. And we've and we've received lots of support from business local businesses, and uh, retirement community. Mm, good. Be in in the form of um, gift baskets oh, for good. our for silent a, auction portion yeah. of that. Yeah, nice. So that's our annual fundraiser. Then we have in Jan no not January we have a, a resource fair coming up, uh, this Monday the seventh of November. For, is that, is from that, nine to noon. Is that one that you called the Winter Wellness? Winter Wellness. Yes, I, yes. I read about that. The Winter Wellness Holiday, holiday Fair. Holiday Fair, yes. which will include um, the gifts, handmade gifts from the Ambleside yeah. Shop vendors okay. who have holiday specific items to sell, and then also the resources and places like Connect, well, Connect Hearing has agreed to come and uh, they'll do uh, oh. checks, hearing checks Free for hearing people. Checks? and. Check their equipment and yeah. uh, help them out with in nice. whatever they need. Yeah, um, people like that will be on hand, and Good. so it it will be. So there's things that you day. can benefit out of it, whether or not you buy anything. You can still benefit from the services that are there. Exactly. But then while you're waiting, you well, can and it's, go it's buy focused something. on seniors, but really involving the whole family yeah. too, yeah. Okay. intergenerational. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and I have been to one of those in the past, and it, there was a lot going on. It was it was um, it was actually kind of fascinating how many things you didn't think about. It's like, oh yeah, well, that's perfect for them to be here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, and then we have our dollar day sale. Oh, um, one of my favorites. I love yeah. the dollar we'll, day sale. We start taking we start taking donations first of December okay and it this year it's going to be Thursday February 9th 
I think that's the uh -huh, date, February uh -huh. 9th, correct? 9 to 2. 9 to 2. Thursday, February Because you're right 9th. down the street. I always put that on my calendar and try to make it because I've gotten some great things oh, at yeah. the dollar store. Everything's sale. a, you know, just Everything's a dollar. Stop. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. So I think that's super. But they, you, you had some really good things there. Oh. Stuff I still wear, things I gave, you know, with crescents. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can you can clear out your garage and your closet, and then you can yeah. fill them back up. You can donate things to us, and then you can come yeah, and buy yeah. things. Right. Yeah, come to think of it, I have some things I can donate. So, <laughs> so um, what, what's um, what's one of the biggest challenges for keeping the the senior center going and keeping it Ooh. active? Um, well, getting getting volunteers who are able to commit on a regular basis, uh, okay. right. um, and who that and we also have to find great worthwhile tasks for people to do. Well, for example, you were talking about your website. Yes. You said you could use somebody that maybe could help, somebody who has really good technical skills. We could. The if person who was managing our website got a real job and moved away. <laughs> <laughs> so if there was somebody out there who had some really good technical skills that could help out with the website, you'd be open to that? We would. We would really appreciate yeah, hearing so. from anybody. <laughs> that would, would try to help That out could here. give us a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah. You bet. Because really, it doesn't require that much time to, I mean, if you come in maybe once a week for, you know, like um, I was talking to um, Elders in Action, they said four hours a month. If somebody could do four hours a month, that's better than nothing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so like you, Terry right. Ann, they were, you said that she just came by and was saying, hey, if you ever need any help with uh, travel. I, ro I roped her in. Yeah, yeah. that's great. I now, mean, now I she's the manager <laughs> <laughs> since January, and she it. joined our board of directors as well. Oh, is that yes, right? Right. right? And that's another volunteer yes. need, yes. too, is, is people who be on the board. Well, I really do like the, the senior center. I like the people out down there have always been so friendly and wonderful. You're open when? What are, what are the hours that you are? Weekdays, 8.30 to 3. Okay. Yeah, we're very civilized. and we, we The building is you're, open you're, later than that, yeah. but, but on our end. And we have Tuesday night dance every Tuesday. That's what I was going to ask you about, because that is night. really popular, isn't it? Oh, it is. There are a isn't dedicated group of people who go, you know, they have, each night of the week, they have a different place they go to dance. <laughs> And it's a serious business. And, and so which night is it then? It's, it's Tuesday. Tuesday night at the senior Every center. Every Tuesday. And, and isn't it a live band or is Yes, it? live three-piece band. It's kind of western style yeah. music. Yeah. Are really they out there line dancing? Uh, and well, no, no, they, no, they're no, two-stepping and They're two-stepping, yeah. yeah. That's right. You, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. you, you sound like you've been out there doing I've been, it. well. <laughs> Come on, fast up, fast up. I've danced with you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they also break and have they bring a potluck, so they oh, okay, they fun. enjoy a, a meal together yeah. as well. Well, and the latest thing, the latest thing is that on the first Tuesday of the month, mm -hmm. we have a sponsor for dinner, Bonaventure of Gresham, mm -hmm, which is getting mm -hmm. ready to open up on Stark Street. Right, right. Um, That's the new uh, retirement community. community yeah. yeah, they are sponsoring uh, a meal for all the participants. Which is, you know, maybe 50, 60 nice. people. Nice. Nice. So eight every month, first Tuesday. So do they bring the food? They or bring the food, oh, and wow. you don't have to bring potluck. Hey, what yeah. a deal. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that sounds like fun. How many people do you usually get to something like that? Well, between, you know, in the winter, maybe 40, yeah. and in the summer months, 60. Wow, that's yeah. a big group of people. Yeah. That's actually pretty impressive. Fine. Well, Trillium Hall holds a, a fair amount of people, yeah. and yeah, I think they have a really good time. Good, right. good. Sounds Another like fun. fun thing that I did this year with them for the first time was the Mother's Day tea. And oh, that was yes. so fun. We did had a hat contest, you know. Yeah, yeah. That was a hat parade. Yeah, a little hat parade. And, and then some more baskets that we were able to auction fun. off. So. Yeah, I remember I remember hearing about the, the Mother's Day tea. That it, well, was it was, really yeah, popular. it was high tea this year. Yeah. My so and it was sponsored <laughs> by Bonaventure of Gresham really? as well. Oh, yes. Good. Good new addition to the community. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, I appreciate you coming on and tell us what's going on with the Senior Center. It's always a pleasure to talk with you, Joyce, and it's really nice to meet you. And welcome to uh, to the the community here at, at Metro East. So Great. we will um, be sure to let people know about all the things that are going on there. So we can't forget that there's a there's travel programs. There is the uh, Dollar Day sale coming up not till February, but all sorts of other things going on the rest of the year. So just give a call or come down check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you, Monica. Monica. You bet. <laughs> and thanks for watching at Community Hotline. We'll be right back with more, so please don't go away. Oh.
My favorite thing about community media is how people find their voice and tell their story. It's the message of, by, and for a community. We're a gathering place because it gets people of all sorts of different backgrounds underneath one roof. It's art, it's technology. A snapshot of our community. Going live in three, two, one. one.